Hi everybody and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Friday morning. A cold front coming through earlier this morning and directly behind it we've seen some scattered showers and thunderstorms that continue to slowly advance southeastward. These are weak thunderstorms. We are not looking at any severe weather, but there is quite a bit of lightning and thunder with this as well as occasionally a little pea-sized hail, some brief downpours with it. Uh, it's going to continue to advance southeastward through the uh, day today. And, so by the noon hour, most of the rain should be southeast of the Tri-Cities here. It will eventually clear out by this afternoon. By the end of the afternoon, most of us done. We may even start to get a few breaks in the clouds and see at least a few peaks of sunshine. But the farther north you go, the better chance you have of maybe seeing a little more sunshine. As we push into this evening, skies continue to clear up. But then later in the night, the clouds start to build back in. Uh, so by tomorrow morning, maybe partly cloudy skies to start off your Saturday. And that's as a warm front lifts north through the area. So yes, we have a cold front coming through that's come through this morning. Now a warm front's going to lift northward. And so with that, we're going to see strengthening southerly winds, early clouds giving way to sunshine and warmer temperatures on the way for your Saturday. Saturday night's still somewhat breezy, mostly clear evening with some clouds thickening up a little bit towards Sunday morning. And we'll kind of see a repeat on Sunday, uh, except with stronger winds and even warmer temperatures on your Sunday ahead of our next cold front that comes through on Monday. So temperatures for today, a big drop in temperatures compared to yesterday's highs, which were in the low to mid 90s. Today, we're talking mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. I was off for three days. The last time I worked was on Monday. My forecast on Monday for today was 80s. So we have seen big changes in the forecast the last couple of days, and it's all because of the strong cold front that's made its way through here. So it is going to be a cool day today here, and I'm even wondering if I would not be surprised if we don't even get to the upper 60s in the Tri-Cities. It will all depend on how much sun we get later on today. We drop back into the 50s tonight, which isn't that cold considering a cold front came through in mid-September, and it's because we have that warm front lifting northward tonight, so that's going to keep us from getting overly cold so a little cool, but not too bad. Nothing unusual for this time of the year. And then we're heating back up tomorrow. Breezy south winds back into the 80s. Even near 90 out in Imperial. 90s in the panhandle of Nebraska. So the heat building back in. Tomorrow night, a mild night ahead of us with lows in the 60s. That's very mild for this time of the year. And then for your Sunday, upper 80s. Lower to mid 90s. So warm to hot conditions returning for your Sunday. So we are not done with summer yet here for Sunday and the winds are going to be fairly strong out of the south as well. This is all ahead of the next cold front that will come through on Monday. So again, after a cool day today and a chance of morning showers and isolated thunderstorms, heating up this weekend and then just like today on Monday morning we get another cold front that comes through that brings a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms and temperatures will drop off for Monday and especially by Tuesday. Look at Tuesday night, 45 degrees. That's one of the coldest mornings many of us have seen so far this fall season, and appropriately we enter the fall season on Wednesday. But we do start to warm things back up at the end of next week here. We'll see pretty dry conditions Tuesday and beyond, even probably beyond Thursday. It looks like a fairly dry forecast. And temperatures, nothing terribly unusual for this time of the year as we move towards uh, next weekend, as we'll see temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 70s next Friday through Saturday here. A real quick look at the Norman, Oklahoma forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be very warm as well there in Oklahoma. Temperatures into the lower 90s by the end of the game. They're not unusually hot by any means. They've seen worse weather for Husker games, but of course, my prediction for the Husker game, not looking too great. Huskers aren't, or Sooners are favored by 22 and a half points, and I think that's about where we'll be, somewhere around that. So um, yeah, I don't I'm not too optimistic for the Husker game this upcoming weekend. But one quick last look at that seven-day forecast. Again, as we're transitioning seasons from summer to fall astronomically, certainly a little bit of fall in there, but also still a little bit of summer in that forecast. I want to thank you all for watching on this Friday morning. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all again on Monday. Take care, and God bless. Bye.